Today I will be showing you what I think is the best way to complete the lamentable challenge in Halo MCC. Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a wonderful day and welcome back to another Halo challenge guide video. And in order to complete this challenge, we need to complete two other challenges. So the first one being Legion's Bane. Now for Legion's Bane, you need to earn 7,000 points for kills in PvE modes. You earn one for Jackals, Grunts, and Drones, five for Elites and Brutes, 10 for Hunters and Vehicles. We'll be tackling the Legion's Bane challenge first and you want to go ahead and select a small map because it just makes it a lot easier to get kills faster and so here's the part where you want to go ahead and look up my gamer tag or in the find player option that should be somewhere up here um i think it's on p oh no it's right here yeah you just go to your profile and then you go to find player um and yeah you want to go ahead and look up my name which is lost ODST. I do want to mention that the ODST part is not an O, like that's not an O, it's a zero. So it's L-O-S-T-0-D-S-T. -S so once you've searched up my name, this should show up. If you see this, then you're definitely on the right one. Um, and you wanna go to file share. And once you go to my file share, it should show my game types. Um, and you'll be seeing this right here where it says shared files. Well, for me, it says shared files, but for you guys, it'll just say, I think like game types or something. And you want to go ahead and look for the game type that is called Legion's Bane. Pretty easy. Just want to go ahead and download that. And yeah, you want to go back to the game types and you should see my game type there now. It's just called Legion's Bane. So it makes it nice and simple. So you know which one it is. And from there, you want to select it. Um, accept the options and from here you want to go ahead and choose normal there's no reason to put it on a higher difficulty because it just makes it harder on you uh, but regardless I mean you're invulnerable in this game type so it doesn't really matter but I just recommend putting it on normal and so once you've got all that set you just want to go ahead and start it all right so once you load in you should have a battle rifle and a rocket launcher as your secondary and you should have infinite ammo bottomless clip so you can shoot endlessly and you should only have brutes enabled so you should only see brute enemy types and if you have all that stuff then you should be set i think you have the correct settings you should also have infinite grenades or whatever that regenerate over time as you use them and yeah so it's pretty simple really all you want to do is just kill brutes you just want to farm them just blow them up to hell and you may be asking well how come we're killing brutes and not hunters because hunters give 10 points and brutes only give five points right there's only like five hunters that spawn per wave it's either like five or four or six or something like that but yeah it's very it's a very small amount of hunters that spawn um, within each wave and so don't worry i did actually test that out and you actually do get a lot more points from killing the brutes and there's like a whole ton of brutes that spawn so really all that just adds up giving you way more points than having just hunters so that's why i chose brutes so i went ahead and did a little test i'm gonna go ahead and throw the screenshot so you guys can see it and so i did a little test i wanted to see how many points i could get within just playing for 10 minutes and within that 10 minutes i got 250 kills now if you remember correctly you get five points per brute kill right we take that 240 kills and times it by 5, we actually end up getting 1,200. So within that 10 minutes, we got 1,200 points. Now, as I was doing this little test, I was on 2,469 points in my Legion's Bane challenge. And so we went from that, we ended up with 3,669 points so i think that's a lot for 10 minutes i think that's a lot you get like at least a thousand um of course there is many factors you may get less kills or heck you might even get more kills um because maybe you're a little slower um or you're even faster who knows but you should generally probably get at least like around a thousand i would say 
And so let's say you play this for maybe like an hour, an hour or two. You're probably going to end up with at least like, what, 6,000 points? Maybe even complete the challenge within two hours. And of course, like I said, there is factors. You could be a little slower or you could be even faster and complete the challenge even quicker. But yeah, I think this is a really efficient method. You should be able to complete it within, I would say, maximum three hours. But yeah, I think this is definitely the quickest way. Um, of course, if you have any better methods that you guys know, be sure to leave it down below in the comments. As these videos are meant for the community, by the community. So you're really just helping out anyone else out there. And honestly, I'll be a little shocked if you guys find a better method. Because um, I think this is a pretty solid method. Of course, it's not the most fun method but that's just kind of how it is when it comes to doing it the quickest way you can so the second challenge that we need to complete in order to unlock the lamentable challenge is tea time so for this one you need to defeat 5,000 enemies it does say here that defeating enemy players in matchmaking grants 10 times progress so really what that means is every single kill is worth 10 points and if you're killing grunts, AI, stuff like that, grunts, uh, jackals, brutes, whatever, they only count as one point. But as you can see, I already kind of progressed through this one because as we're doing the Legion's Bane challenge, which is the uh, 7,000 points for kills in PvE modes, you actually pro you're actually progressing through both challenges just by doing the Legion's Bane challenge. So that's really nice. Um, that's why I recommend doing the Legion's Bane challenge first. So let's go ahead and tackle the tea time challenge and what I think is a good method is by playing SWAT. And the reason I think SWAT is really good is because it's a very short time to kill. All you gotta do is get headshots and heck there's even times where you can like spawn kill people um, and you could get easy kills. You just gotta shoot people in the head and that's really it. It's, it's super quick. The matches are, qu the matches are quick. Um, the kills are quick. I mean what's not to like about it. And yeah, I think, you know, SWAT is just generally really good because it's just a one-shot kill to the head. So it makes it so easy to, to get, you know, double kills like I just did right there. Um, so right there, I just snagged myself 20 points. Look at that, 10 points right there, 30 points already. And if you were playing like a Team Slayer, you probably would, would barely get like 10 points or something like that. Um, but yeah, you know, I already got 30 points or we got 40 Oh, almost had 50 right there. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it, it's super quick. Pretty easy. Um, of course, there is going to be some better players you might match. Or there might be some uh, complete newbies that you match. You know, it really all kind of kind of depends on the matchmaking. You might get really unlucky or you might get lucky. Who knows? Anyways, guys, that's how you can complete the Lamentable Challenge. And what I think is possibly one of the best ways... Um, the tea time challenge, that one's a little more skill based. Um, I mean, uh, alternatively, you could probably just like farm grunts or something, but that's going to take super long and I'm trying to go for what's fast. But, um, if you're really good, I think playing a lot of SWAT will be really good. If not, maybe, maybe you completely suck at SWAT, then I would recommend playing whatever's your strength in multiplayer. But I think SWAT is definitely like a good place to at least like try to start. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If it did, be sure to like and subscribe. Shows your support. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and start grinding some more of this challenge and complete it on myself. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.